Now let's talk about AI and mainframe. Now when we talk about AI, we can talk about traditional AI that we have been using for decades, or we can also talk about generative AI or gen AI that LLMs that we talk a lot about. Uh, let's talk about AI and mainframe, and then of course we'll talk about AI over years. To follow up on the, really the point we were just on to a degree of the relevance of the mainframe today, um, it is still absolutely running critical workloads across a large variety of industries, um, whether it's finance or insurance, right? Certainly um, across a range of other industries, government, et cetera. So it's, it's still a very relevant platform. And what that means is it's also still running, right? Many mission critical workloads for a lot of large ed- enterprises and governments. So it's got those, those critical workloads as well as very, very critical and rich data. So with it being, you know, a platform that businesses really rely on, we put that in the context of AI and AI is a very transformative technology. Uh, you mentioned, you know, generative AI, and certainly with the advent of chat GPT, we are seeing in the public space, AI having, right, a much, getting more attention, having a bigger impact in public. But in the enterprise world, machine learning and traditional AI capabilities have been having an impact for some time and are s- still where we see a massive opportunity. So AI can help businesses and enterprises make better business decisions, right? Not just using rules, but making decisions that have a predictive nature to them as well. It can help them manage their systems and resources better as well, right? Through things like anomaly detection and and AI ops capabilities. So you, you sort of bring those aspects together. And when we leverage AI on the mainframe, right? It gives us that ability Right, to get insights quicker, whether it's business insights or operational insights on the mainframe in place. And we, you know, I really believe that businesses that don't embrace AI, which are becoming a smaller and smaller set, by the way, but businesses that don't embrace AI are just going to be left behind. Not only embracing AI, but embracing um, some of those open source technologies and some of the latest technologies um, that, you know, those cutting end technologies that all these developers in the industry are using, right? Um, whether that's TensorFlow, um, you know, for model training, um, Triton Inference Server for deployment, right? Just making sure that there's a, a wide range and a, a vast ecosystem, right, available to users um, that are looking to deploy AI on the mainframe, and right, that's what we we provide um, today. 